617. 617, what do you hear? What do you say? Go ahead, 617. Hello, Tony. This is Father Chianti. How are you this evening? The... Hello, well, Johnny. Well, Antonio, I must tell you something very bad happened, and I need to bring it up to you because you are responsible for it, and Father Gianni is very upset with you as well as I. I didn't know. Well, no. you see, when we were walking, when we were shopping at the Shaw supermarket in East Boston, myself and the Father Gianni, and we were uh, walking into the shards. You were in front of us in aisle six. And you fart. You lay a big fart. And even though... No! I no, hold I it in my breath. And Father, Father Gianni hold his breath. And we pray for a Mary and a Jesus. Your father went down a throat and gave us a corona. Get out of here, you son of a bitch. Get out of here. My farts didn't go down your throat. Johnny Longfeather, you son of a bitch! Get out of here! Go ahead, 808. Uh, what, what do you hear? What do you say, 808? Go, go ahead. Go ahead. <coughs> Tony! It's Madeline. <laughs> Tony, it's Madeline. Hello? <laughs> You're not Madeline. You're Johnny Longfeather! I'm, this is Madeline. I'm in quarantine in Honolulu. I have the coronavirus. Well, if you're not really Madeline, then why the hell, why didn't you quarantine yourself before you caught it? Because I wanted to go to Honolulu and have beach sex. Uh. And get stand up, get stand up for hairy pussy rubbing on my nipples. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, you're disgusting. Madeline, you are more you come disgusting. To Honolulu? <laughs> Will you come to Honolulu? Uh, <laughs> no, no, and you you should be on a ventilator. You sound terrible. I have to You sound terrible. Time. I never heard anything so disgusting in my life. No, 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 Get out of no! Don't num 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 me, Matt. Get out of here. Go have sex with Alfonso. Turn him straight or something. And I'm sure that wasn't Madeline. I'm sure it was Johnny Longfeather. Go ahead, 617. What stupid song you got? Tony, what the fuck, dude? You, what? You forgot Higgins' fucking birthday? I, I, I don't... Oh, man. I don't know. Dude, uh, how am I you can't... To... You can't... I can't fucking call. I can't talk to you right now. I'm just yeah. so... Utterly dis- disappointed in you, and when I say utterly, I mean like cow udders, because you're a fat fuck and you forgot your friend's you birthday. You shut him up, bitch! Just I don't fuck- want you calling I can't even have a conversation with you. Fucking sick. I can't with you. I can't get out of here. I didn't. Re- okay, I didn't remember that it was Higgins's birthday, and I yeah, I heard him say simp. Okay? Not funny. Not funny. Okay. Well, okay, we'll change the subject. Have have you been laid off from work, too? Have, were you on the essential list? Um, yes, I, I was not on the essential list. I, 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 I was driving uh, Uber for a while. Then I was working as a security guard. That's on the essential list. I mean, yeah, I was... Hang on a second. Tony, are you what what is that noise? Are you shitting now? No, I'm not. Have a good night and get well, Jeff. Jesus fucking Christ. That's all I do is get accused of sticking shit. That's all you guys do is accuse me. I try to have a conversation. Jeff and I try to have a conversation. And I get accused of taking shit. It's getting stupid now and I don't want to be accused of taking shit anymore. Okay? One, one, one. What do you hear? What do you say? Good evening. This is Mike Hunt, unemployed personal trainer. 
Happy Easter. Happy Easter, Mike. Well, why are you calling my show? Just wanted to tell you Happy Easter. I hope everyone is doing well and healthy and staying active. And I was wondering, do you have a treadmill or any weights at home? I have two um, 12-pound dumbbells. It was a 24-pound uh, kit that I bought from Walmart. And um, I was doing barbell complexes when I first bought the set. Good. Good. So you're getting some activity. You're not just totally sedentary on the couch, right? No, I don't sit on the couch. And I was um, I, I was driving an Uber for a little bit, but I got to stay home now and quarantine myself because I have been around people that have had uh, direct, coronavirus oh that's scary well yeah stay away from those people we want you to stay healthy and i want everyone to stay healthy um even with some basic equipment at home like a kettlebell or a jump rope or dumbbells or stability ball and just some simple exercises you know shoulder press and squats and curls jumping jacks sit-ups i'm not gonna say cock push-ups i'm not gonna swear today because it's easter to just regular push-ups. And um, also, on, on the Joe Exotic thing, I watched that thing. He, re- The Joe Exotic, the Tiger King, the gay guy, he reminded me of Joe Gibson because of how he runs his gay mouth nonstop. He reminded ah. me he's like Joey. And, you know, we put a mullet haircut on Joey, Joe Exotic. And he, he, uh, he, I think, yeah. I think he looked like Ken. I thought he looked like Ken a little bit. He had, the, he had Ken's face and Ken's mu- mustache. You know, you're right. He does look like Kenny. That's right. He looks like Kenny, too. But I think Kenny's a good guy. Joe, he's out of his mind. They're more mentally uh, on the same level with uh, being crazy. Now, I know recently you were accused of coming in a tiger's ass, which I don't believe. <laughs> but you could- They said you came in a tiger's ass with the DNA. Now, I can pay $20 to Joe Gibson to put his lips on the tiger's asshole and suck the cum out of the tiger's asshole. Okay, thank you for calling and ruining my... It's Easter, Mike. It's Easter, Mike. No, no, Mike. Hashtag tiger cum fights. No, get out of here. No hashtag tiger cum fights. It's Easter. Go ahead, one, one, one. Good evening, Mr. Tony. Happy Easter to you, my friend, and let me tell you, Easter is not the only day that somebody will rise. Easter is also the day that I, Count Cocula, have risen. Idiot. Idiot. And this Easter, I am going to suck the blood out of everyone's dicks. No, you're not a vampire, you're not gay. And you're, you're, you're a troll. I'm going to start with yours. So here I no, come. No, you're not. Look out. Look out through the window. Wait a minute. No. What is that giant light in the air? It is a I giant don't... penis. What are you talking about? Is that the about? superhero El Dico? What? I must get out of here, because if he chops off my dick, that is the only way for me to die. And I must protect it. Can you oh, no, so that's he will do to it. Hello? Hey. 
Did anybody see a, a, a vampire here that like to do dick suck? No, uh, there's no vampire that does that. Why he leave his cell phone behind? I don't know. Hello? What? I cannot hear nothing. I can hear you. I gotta go cut off his dick and do something with it. Ooh. Where are you, dick sucking vampire? I have an Easter basket for you. With dicks. Okay, goodbye. An Easter basket with dicks inside of it. That's nice. That's something nice that you want to say. That's something nice. And you, you son of a bitch. You stop calling my show making uh, penis noises. That was Joe Gibson. That was Joe Gibson calling in again. 666 area code, you keep calling in. I keep fucking putting you. What do you want? I'm not in the mood for your shit either. I only have 48. I only been on the show for 12 minutes, you son of a bitch. What do you want? 666, you better fucking leave me alone. What do you want? Good evening here, Mr. Tony Clarabelle Gargado. Clarabelle. Yes, sir. Your Excuse middle me? name is Clarabelle here. Yeah? Now listen here, no, Clarabelle. No, it's not. Listen no, here, not. Uh, Mr. Clarabelle. Or oh, Mrs. Clarabelle. You need to do yourself a favor here. Now, I'm going to be, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, tell you one last time here. Myself and my business partner, Mr. Buchanan, would like you to cease operations of Tony Talk Records here. And Lord have mercy. No, no. If you continue on with your musical uh, endeavors here, I'm going to sue you here. And I'm going to take everything away from you. I'm going to take your no, radio show not. here. No, you're not going like to I took me. God's That's Rainbow you. Ministries away from Kenneth Marilou Fishman, I'm going to take away Blog Talk Radio's Tony Talk from Tony Clarabelle Gargato here. That's now, listen not here. Name. I also want to uh, extend an offer here for one Mr. Uh, Alfonso here, for his uh, mm-hmm. sleep no. cast here, and also no. for his music here. Now, Lord have mercy, if you continue on with this here, you're going to be very sorry here. Myself and Mr. Buchanan do not mess around here. And Lord have mercy, do not make me uh, send Sal after you here. Fuck Sal, send I'm him after get in me. touch with Mr. Buchanan and I cannot find him here. Lord have mercy. Uh, Mr. Tony, Mrs. Clarabelle. My name's Mrs. Not Clarabelle. Mrs. Clarabelle, take bitch. that size 2XL skirt off and be a man. Fuck you. See you soon, Clarabelle. Yeah. I don't wear a skirt. No, yes. Get the fuck out of here. Don't call my show no more. You want to show me? My name is not... Okay, you assholes in the chat room, my name is not Clarabelle. My name is not Clarabelle. This is not called Clarabelle. No, it's not, Speedwagon. My name's Antonio Gagaro. And my and I'm not Clarabelle. Who? My name's not Clarabelle. Just like Ken's name is not Mary Woe. It's he makes up these girl names for these people. He makes up these girl names for these people. And he thinks it's funny, but it's not funny. It's stupid. He's a stupid bitch. And I hope he sh- This is not clear about talking to Circle Radio. And uh, th- this is not... I'm just going to move on with the show. I'm just going to move on with the show because... um. Because my name's not Clarabelle, you stupid bitch. One one one, Anita, is this you? One one one, Anita, is this you, Anita? Hey asshole, how you doing? It's Sal. You fucking bitch. Yeah, listen, asshole. I've been uh, thinking you a asshole. little bit here, and I think you're a little jealous of me and the fact that Mike Buchanan found real musical talent. You so, uh, you I'm going to have to ask you sh- to uh, stop doing what you're doing because we got enough problems I, over here in the United hey, Kingdom. Hey, motherfucker, you and if I got to go take sh- a flight with this corona stuff going around, 
to come back to Boston and slap the fucking shit out of your fat fucking face. Don't think I won't do it. You fucking putty looking bitch. You simp. You fucking fat simp. You obese simp. You gluttonous fucking simp. You fucking pussy. I'll slap the fucking fat shit out of your fucking cheeks. I'll make you go from fat Oprah to skinny Oprah. I'll make you look like Star Jones after she was done with her fucking surgery, you fat motherfucker. I'll make you look like shit, you son of a bitch. Fucking cunt, get the fuck, you fucking bitch, you I'll fucking kill you. I hope you come to Boston, you son of a bitch. I fucking hope you come to Boston, you son of a bitch. I'm having enough problems. I'm wondering, worried about my friend Anita. And you want to call here and make touch to me? Shell, shell, you fucking bitch. Listen to me, you son of a bitch. You come to Boston. You come to Boston. I'll punch you in your fucking jaw. And when you get dropped on the ground, I'll get on top of you and punch you over and over and over again. And you <laughs> you son of a bitch. You come to Boston, I will fucking drop you on your fucking head, you fucking punk. And I'll slap you so fucking hard, your stupid little fucking faggy fucking tattoos will come flying off, you motherfucker. And I'll step on your fucking throat and kill you, you fuck. Come on, motherfucker. Go ahead, 111. 111, you are on the air with the one, the only Tony Kaka. What do you hear? And what do you say? Go ahead. Hey, how you doing there, you fanook? You your buddy, who is it? Listen. No, you're not my buddy. I gotta you're talk to you buddy. about something, and it's pretty important. I, I feel like I owe you an apology for all the stuff that I put you through. You're damn fucking right you are. Uh, calm the chins down a little bit. Calm your chins down. Listen. What? I got a... You know, since I'm a musical genius, and I write all my uh, music... No, you're not. You don't write any of my songs. I wanted to share a poem with you. Since we're on the uh, subject of everybody apologizing and turning over a new leaf, Tony, I want to... I wrote a poem for you. It's a, it's an apology poem. I got it right here. You you want me to read it on the air? It better be an apology, and I'll let you read it. Oh, thanks, pal. I'm, I'm, I'll read it for you. Okay. Roll, roll. Hold on a second. Hold on. This is yeah, very emotional. Very very emotional here. Here we go. Rolexes are expensive. Rolls voices are too. Pony takes a lot of shits because he eats a lot of ragu. You sham a bitch. He fell down and went boom. And the poo poo did soar. I hate to mention that. Tony's mother. Okay. Was. Don't go there. Don't go there. Ah. Uh, you shut him a bitch. Wonderful lady. Oh. But Tony's a fat fuck and he's disgusting and he makes me sick. Bada bing, bada you boom. Get Take the it fuck easy, out of you here, fat you. fuck. You fucking piece of shit. Get out of here. Don't call my show no more, you lying fucking bastard. You stealing my shit. You're lucky you didn't say anything about my mother. That wasn't a poem. That's not talent, Luther. That's not talent, Horsecock. And change your name. Change your name, your name. That's not your name that your mother gave you. Your mother didn't name you Horsecock, you son of a bitch. And Jesco, do not call him Shell Baby. And no for Fatata, Ferrara, Ferrari, whatever your name is. I don't like my mother being mentioned. I don't like my mother being mentioned. Would you like your mother being mentioned? I heard you blew a gasket and you had a fucking stroke because your sister was mentioned. Okay? 
That's what I heard. My name's not Clarabelle, you son of a bitch. Stop calling me Clarabelle. Another one, one, one. Let's see. Hello, one, one, one. Tony. Guess who it is? I can I can imagine who this is. I know who it is. What do you want? Don't understand why you're so upset, darling. Really, come on. It was just a prank. Why don't you pull your underwear out of your ass? You were pranking me. You said that you were friends with me and you wanted to date me. That's what you said, <laughs> Mrs. fucking Buchanan. That's what you said, Oh, Anita. don't be a bloody boring tosser, will you, please? I mean, come on. Can you even touch your own toes? Never mind, see your own dick. Okay. You know something? <laughs> Don't giggle, bitch! <laughs> You're really quite dull. I mean, come on. Did your own mother change your nappies when you were a baby? Nappies? What's nappies? Yeah. Nappies. For God's sake. Diapers and American slang. Jesus, you're dumb. I'll show you, dumb Anita. I'm going to kick your husband's fucking ass. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. I'm Tony. I whine. That's all I do. Oh, bloody boring. Fuck you, Anita. Okay, that's it. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with Anita. Anita, I'm going to kick your husband's ass. Mike Buchanan, I'm going to kick your husband's ass. I'm going to kick your husband, Josh, from the U.K. to the U.S. For 410. 410, what do you hear? What do you say, 410? Tony, you are a nasty, uh, evil motherfucker. What is wrong with you, man? You no, took a no. shit live on the air. You didn't even fl- You didn't wash your hands, Tony. In the middle of a pandemic, coronavirus, and all this craziness going on in the world, you take a massive shit. I mean, you empty up your bowels, you dump out your intestines, and then you don't wipe your hands. You don't wash your hands, Tony? What is wrong with you, brother? You a nasty yes, I motherfucker, did. Tony. That's it, Tony. Yes, I I'm did. done. That's all. Hey, no, I- that's it. I'm done. I'm done. You you nasty. You gonna give me a disease, Tony. I'm gonna catch a disease listen to the show. Daddy, I washed my hands. Daddy? Daddy, I washed my hands. Why do I get the weirdest callers on my show? Why do I get the weirdest callers calling me? Everyone have a good night. I'll see you soon. My name's not clear about you, son of a bitch.